Now let's turn to the Middle East, where Hamas says it sent new ideas to Qatari and Egyptian mediators aimed at ending nearly nine months of war in Gaza with Israel. Israel confirmed it's evaluating what it described as Hamas comments on a ceasefire and hostage deal. Meanwhile, the Israeli military says it's killed a commander of Hezbollah in Lebanon in an airstrike. These images were sent to us by the news agency AFP, which says that they were posted online and that they show the aftermath of the strike. Mohammed Nima Nasser is one of the most senior Hezbollah figures to have been killed in nearly nine months of cross-border clashes. Meanwhile, Israel has also approved plans for what is being described as the biggest potential expansion of settlements in the occupied West Bank in more than three decades. Israeli officials have not publicly commented on the latest seizure of 12.7 square kilometers of land, which comes amid heightened tensions with Palestinians because of the Gaza war. Well, earlier, our Middle East correspondent Yolande Nell told us what more, more about the deal. Well, this has come after weeks of very little public diplomacy. Um, Hamas saying that it gave its response to Qatari and Egyptian mediators. It's saying there's um, the Turkish uh, involvement now in this as well. Um, and it says it's responded in a positive spirit to the deal that's on the table. That's basically the three-phase plan that was outlined by President Biden back on the 31st of May that the U.S. has been uh, pushing for. Very quickly, we had a, a response from the Israeli Prime Minister's office acknowledging that it had got those Hamas comments um, and that along with the, the Mossad intelligence service, which is really leading the negotiations, um, those were being looked at, they were being evaluated. And in the Israeli media this morning, um, there are some guardedly optimistic comments with um, well-informed sources being quoted as saying that there is something here to work with. So potentially some movement, but surely this, co this concept of, the, of expanding the settlements in the West Bank, that'll take it a step back, won't it? I mean, certainly that will be seen as being uh, a provocative uh, move by Hamas. Um, but when you look at what's been happening um, on the ground in Gaza, I mean, really the key demands of Hamas, the main sticking points that we've seen when it comes to trying to get a new ceasefire deal that will also see the release of the remaining 120 hostages uh, believed to be held in Gaza, some of those uh, now said to be dead. Um, what's really the main sticking point? Hamas is demanding that it wants a full end to the war as part of any deal. It wants a full withdrawal of Israeli troops from the Gaza Strip. Um, and then Israel has been saying that as much as it's ready to uh, come up with a truce to release its hostages, it wants to be able to continue uh, fighting on in Gaza to continue the war until it has destroyed Hamas's governing capabilities and its military capabilities there. So that the ceasefire and hostage release deal um, really is very much uh, about what's happening uh, in the Gaza Strip. But what's happening in the West Bank, there have been these repeated warnings that that could open up a, a new a front uh, in the war if the situation uh, in the West Bank deteriorates further. And also, of course, as you were referencing before, um, this real concern internationally now that there could be a much more uh, dangerous war that develops between Israel and the powerful Lebanese armed group Hezbollah in Lebanon. Yes, and just on that, just tell us more about what we know about the, the death of this leader, Mohammed Nimar Nasser, your land. Well, he's the latest um, quite senior figure to be killed. Um, and it has been over the last few weeks that we have seen a real intensification in the barrages of rockets, the numbers of attack drones uh, being sent across the border uh, by Hezbollah and Israel responding uh, with retaliatory strikes, including going after um, some you know, Hezbollah fighters, but also some more senior figures within the group. There have been these attempts. We've heard about the, the US um, envoy who's come to the region trying to add to diplomatic efforts in the past weeks, talking now to the French also about trying to calm things down diplomatically. What Israel is really demanding is that Hezbollah should be pushed back uh, from uh, the border, uh, it, its border with Lebanon, that there should ultimately be some kind of deal to decide uh, on the, the actual final border between the two countries as well. And what Israel really wants is for tens of thousands of its citizens to be allowed to go back to their homes. They've really been uh, displaced by this fighting that started
started on the 7th of October um, as the war in Gaza began, with Hezbollah saying specifically that it was trying to draw away uh, Israeli military resources uh, from the war in Gaza, that that was its way of supporting its ally there, Hamas. Yolande Nelde live uh, talking to me from Jerusalem around the world and across